Dirty Boys, man, Hot 107.9, Atlanta's number one hip hop station, uh-huh. man. Cash out, still checking in right now. Um, yeah. Jay was Jay was uh, had a question for you about the label stuff, yeah, man. man. Um, I definitely got to salute you, man. I know um the situation with Epic. You were signed to Epic at one point. Um, switched up deals, and now you over to E1. You actually have the biggest, re- the bigger records over there this year at E1, man. So yeah. definitely got to salute you. I don't think a lot of people knew that from from uh, the records you didn't drop. Nah, How did E1 I don't situation going? Uh. They 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 um they make sure you straight yeah they happy um about everything going on over there man you know uh uh but we move so strong that that's what they really you know like that they ain't really just gotta oh we do gotta call out the out. shots we yeah. step in the we step in there and you know um we lay down the game plan and they you know we handle our part and they they handle their part you know which is you know you know through them is like distribution you know on the independent side you right. know from you know uh. Salute to everybody who really just doing it that way, you know. QC and everybody, you know, my my homies. And, so know, it's really P&I. come with your own game plan and let them yeah. just come in and just and just you know, do put a little fire, pull a gas the, to the, the flame. Wide part, yeah. You feel me? You know, you do what you do, and they do what they do, and hopefully the record is good enough to do what it do. Right. And that's what that's what it been. The record has do every you, record. Do you, you find know, it's um, better that way because uh, just more creative marketing control, not just as an artist, you know, with your own music, but creative art marketing control and coming together. It's your, you know it's your own ideas, making making your project come alive. Yeah, I think it give you more um, say so in what you do, and, and and you know if you capitalize on it, it give you more leverage just in case you ever decide to, you know, go with a, a big major or something like that. You show them all the work you have de- done before you have gotten them with um the, on the independent side, and you know all the records we have charted, you know the stats and and all that good like stuff. That. Yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. Like you know um the stats speak for itself. That's why. When when every time I talked to the you know the head up there or whatever he was like you always kept it consistent like you know and and I and I told him like it it, it could have been that way whether it was with Epic or, or whoever it was there. the music was there it just was you know they had to agree with what we was Trying focused do, on because yeah. every time every label we we done you know no mess with we brought the product it wasn't like hey. And that's we what I'm saying. Cash like, it's, out it's and the, we gotta find it. You bring in a product right, is yeah. one thing, and then it's like, how are you gonna market it? And that, I think it's a lot of times people, uh, when they when they're, they're fans of artists, they think it's the artist that kind of like fell off. And it's like, he's got the music, but they not they don't yeah. know how to market it. They right, might not right. know how to sell it, you know what I mean? Or, or present it to the people. So and that's what kind of, you know, with that epic, you know, trying to get out that situation that was the style between, you know, cash and I hold up and the gap, and then she twerking, you feel me, just out of nowhere. Like I say, she twerking was, was, was with epic. You know, it was just the vision that we had, and you know, we always knew it was gonna do what it do. You know, no matter where we was, you know, independent with somebody, you know, cause we have, we have put in work, we have made the money, so it ain't no excuses to, you know, keep going. You know, some people have that, that that one shot, and then, that's it. Once they have that that that, you have a chance to take a step back. That it's like, oh, I failed, or, you know, they don't know what to do next. And, you know, that's never, like, in a real hustler. Like, if you look at everybody's career who has, who's, um like, the Waynes, the Jay-Zs, they have had that, that style, man, but they have never just, I give up. You feel right. me? Like, and we, ain't, we ain't about that right Every here. record got a purpose. Yeah, every record. Every record. Okay. Well, appreciate you stopping by, man. Any, any last words uh, before man, we get up out um, of here? Make sure y'all get tomorrow, man. Uh. Man, we gonna we gonna we gonna blast it in your ear, man. You gonna we gonna make sure you hear it. It's gonna be a a number one smash. It's gonna be a Grammy nominated record. You know, a nomic on the beat, man. We we taking over this shit. Bass is loaded. We got the format, man. Salute to everybody. We got some special things coming too. Um, special announcements too, man. That's why I say, man, we working, man. You never know who we might be with in a minute. Let's get it. Hey, Let's get it. turn up. I know what that means. I want a seven nine. Thanks. <laughs>